been stricken with the Pac-Man fever? Do you lie awake at night just itching for another dose of that sweet, pellet-eating, ghost-destroying goodness? Is your greatest wish in life to walk in Pac-Man's shoes and finally experience the game in, in the first person? Are you on the edge of gnawing your limbs off in desperation just because you don't see any way that this dream could ever come true? Well then, get prepared and put your teeth away because I have the game for you. 3 Demon was released in 1983 for DOS and was programmed by John D. Price. While doing research for this show, I just happened to stumble upon this game and my initial reaction to the concept was, let's say, less than stellar. A Pac-Man clone from the early 80s that was presented in the first person sounded like one of the most absolutely disastrous concept I had ever encountered. In my mind, there was absolutely no way that this game could be anything less than a fuckstorm calamity. But much to my delight, this was not the case at all, and I found myself continuously coming back for more wireframe goodness. When you start the game, you are greeted with a message encouraging you to contribute some sort of donation to the developer if you find the game enjoyable, and are asked if you are playing on a black and white or color monitor. You are then shown the title screen food with those familiarly shaped ghosts and a whimsical little PC speaker ditty that actually goes some unexpected places if you just sit there and let it play. I'm not often a huge fan of this type of music, but this genuinely made me smile. You are also given the option to see the controls, or to choose a difficulty. Once you choose your difficulty, you are thrust into a blue, simply presented maze with pellets on the ground. You have a little radar map on the lower right hand side of the screen that indicates the proximity of your enemies, but that does not work as an actual map to help guide you through the level. To access an actual map, you must press the plus sign, which brings you to a screen that looks exactly like a Pac-Man level and shows you your location on the level, the location of power pellets, and the remaining pellets you must consume. I find this configuration to be overly cumbersome at times and would have liked if the two could have been incorporated together somehow. The power pellets work just like in Pac-Man, allowing you to eat your foes and send them back from whence they came. But the game starts emitting this awful cycle of tones when you use one that will drive you absolutely insane after a while, especially if you eat several in succession. But luckily, there is an option to turn the sounds off if this proves to be grating on your soul. Unlike Pac-Man, you do not have to eat all of the pellets in a stage before moving on to the next one. You merely have a percentage to eat in the level, and once that is achieved, you can push the down arrow key to jump down to the next level. This is especially useful if you find yourself cornered by ghosts and have no other means of escape. The downside to this is that you don't get the stage clearing bonus added to your score and are thrust into a level where the ghosts are fitter, faster, and more productive. Also, something that I find interesting about the game is that you are never shown any representation of the character that you are playing as. I personally like this because it allows my imagination to fill in the gap and pretend that I'm anything that I want to be as I destroy ghosts. You can pretend you're Pac-Man if you're lame and boring, but if you let that imagination run a little more wild, you can pretend that you're, I don't know, Peter Vankman? Or, my personal fantasy, Bronson Pinchot. Because as we all know, no one fucks with Balky. So, is this a good game? Yeah, I'd say so. Like I said earlier, I went into this with the lowest expectations and found myself pleasantly surprised by how much fun I actually had while playing. And not only did the gameplay keep me coming back for more, but the fact that I could not allow Poo Poo Pistachio to have a higher score than me. So check it out, especially if you're into old DOS games or want to play one of the more interesting Pac-Man clones that were released. I can happily say that Poo Poo no longer has anything on me! 
and I'm climbing my way to the top of the high scores. That's all I've got for 3 Demon. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.